coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and this sexy voice of mine. I don't know, it's just getting worse and worse. This is the fourth or fifth video that I filmed today and it's just getting worse. I feel fine, but my voice is just like, you know, Danny, I gotta give you a sexy voice to match that sexy mom of you. You guys, I have to share something with you. So, every morning when I wake up, when my house is still asleep, and the reason I'm sharing the story with you is because it's a haul and it's fun and it's in, it's informal. If you guys don't want to hear my Danicdote, Danicdote, one of my subscribers made up that word, my Danny anecdote. If you don't want to hear that, I will have a little timestamp and you guys can skip ahead. So every morning, when my house is still asleep, I get up and I check all my social media and, <clears throat> you know, basically get caught up with my day and before my video goes live. And so I catch up with my social media and usually I have like maybe five comments that are, you know, in, in really kind of mean or malicious or with bad intentions. So I just erase them, block them, whatever. So I get this one comment that said, Danny, stop trying to be sexy. I mean, you're just a mom. And so initially, I mean, I thought it was funny, like, haha, I just laughed it off because I'm always joking about how I'm not, I don't think I'm sexy. But not because I'm a mom, it's because I'm goofy and I'm lanky and I have like spaghetti arms and like my face is like the mask, like Jim Carrey on the mask. Like my face has so much facial movement that I'm a cartoon in real life. And so I've never considered myself sexy. But when she said, stop trying to be sexy, you're just a mom. I was like, just a mom? Like it, it just built up and built up and built up. And I was like, wow. I don't even know what to say about that. So now that I have this sexy voice, it can match my sexy mominess. Did I just make up a word? Just match my sexy mominess. We should make up a word that means like sexy and mommy. Like mommixy. I'm not good at doing that. So if you're a mommy and you're at home feeling not sexy, I'm here to remind you that you are intelligent, you're hardworking, you are sexy as hell, you're probably smart, and you know what? We are a lot more than just sexy. So yeah, we are just a mom, but just because it's impossible to name all the 4,000 other duties and responsibilities that just moms have. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a high five? Can I get an amen over here? Because I'm sure there's a lot of moms out there watching that are like, oh, hell no, what is her name and address? <laughs> but anyway, you know, she was probably like, I don't know, 15, and her life begins when there's like a new Claire's at the mall. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so you know what, you guys? I've been seeing a whole crap ton of drugstore videos, drugstore hauls, drugstore tutorials, drugstore everything on my feed. And I was like, you know what, Danny? Where have you been? Because you have drugstore pandas. And there are a lot of like holy, holy, holy grail drugstore products that I love and I use all the time. But a drugstore haul, I haven't done one in a hot minute. So. I had to jump on that drugstore bandwagon and you may be tired of seeing drugstore videos by now because there's a lot of them. But I get to share cool stories while I do my drugstore haul with you guys. No? <laughs> so I went to CVS with the sole purpose of hauling stuff for you guys that I want to try on my channel for you guys. And the other thing is, today I was at the uh, pharmacy, well, today I was at Target picking up a prescription, and I just so happened to walk through the beauty aisle, and they were just, were just, they were just unboxing, you're not ready for this, they were just unboxing the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. Have you guys seen these? They're permanent, so don't die. Like, please don't die on me. They are permanent, so if you can't find them right now or for a little while, it's okay. I promise you, you will. Um, but they are Target exclusive, I believe. I was I was totally stalking the Wet n Wild Instagram page, and they are for Target. I hate these, like, plastic sticker things because if I want to get into my product, I have to ruin my manicure. 
And who wants to ruin their manicure? Nobody. Nobody has time to ruin their manicure. So here is a close-up, and these were $4.99 each. This one here is Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. This is like a gold to peach ombre. Then we have In a Purple Haze which is purple, and it goes from pink to purple. This would be perfect for uh, fair ladies with cool undertones and blue eyes. That blush was probably made for you. And this is the Prince's Daiquiris. And this is a peach. The other one that I showed you was like a gold to peach. This is more, it's less shimmery, and it's more of like a peach to darker peach. You guys know I'm great at these descriptions. I wonder how they swatch. Well, that's nice. That's not very dark though. Oh, I don't know, Wet and Wild. That's one of them. You guys, I'm I'm light complected. I'm like a C3 in Mac, so you guys can get an idea. And these are pretty light. Wait a minute. I hope this isn't one of those products that just looks really cute in the pan, but it's like crap when you swatch it or try to use it. I'm not going to say anything yet because, oh, this one is nice. I'm not going to say anything yet because finger swatching, that sounds weird, finger swatching isn't very reliable. You know, it's a lot different from using your finger, the oils on your finger, using a brush, like all of that affects the product so I'm not gonna have like but first impression read my expression okay that was a terrible one that wasn't even good that that was like a toddler face <laughs> I'm around a toddler all day what can I say and a baby so then I went to CVS or actually initially I went to CVS then when I went you know the story <laughs> blah blah you know the story um so let's get started with this CVS haul the first one that I got or the first thing that's pretty cool actually these are kind of growing on me the swatches maybe it's just not picking up on camera because they're pretty they are really pretty that purple one is speaking my name so you have like a pink one a purple and then a peach one of them one of them is pink but it swatch it looks peach in the pan so the first thing that I got was a nail polish from L'Oreal called Gypsy Glitz I had to get this this is a holographic polish it has a thin glitter it has a thin silver base like it's a sheer silver base but then it has those, um, you know those glitter things that look like little feathers? You know the ones I'm talking about? Like little thin, little tiny stripe sprinkles? It has those and they're holographic. And you guys know how holographic things make me feel. So I'm excited to swatch that or actually try it on. Then I got two mascaras. Um, one from Revlon. This is the Ultimate All-in-One. I got this one because uh, they have like four or five different kinds. There's like a blue cap, a green cap, a purple cap maybe. But this is the one that's like, all right, just don't waste your time. This is the all-in-one. I'm going to do everything for you, so just get me. And this is the one that has the five benefits, which are volume, length, definition, lift, and rich, and rich intense color. I liked it because it has this new mini brush or like a mini wand. And I'm pretty sure it's a silicone one, and you know how I feel about silicone wands. And then the other one that I got was the Lash Sensational Luscious. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Lash Sensational Lushes for the full fan effect. The classic Lash Sensational, I love that mascara. I love it. And the formula or the actual mascara doesn't dry out. There are so many Maybelline mascaras that I use, um, I don't know, 10 times and they start to dry out and I have to get rid of them. This one lasted me forever. It's the like uh, pearly pink, like this color too, like the original Lash Sensational. Oh, I love it. And this one is supposed to give you a dense, like a dense, full fan effect. I have three lashes, so if you can give me full three lashes, I'm all about that life. And I don't think I'm going to bore you with this video, but I was curious to try the product. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. There are so many videos on this cushion that I don't think I should do a video two because there's so many already um but I really wanted to try it for myself I'm definitely curious but I actually want to use it the way it's intended you know like with the sponge that it comes with 
doing it the way that you're supposed to use a cushion foundation. I've seen a lot of reviews where they're like, I'm going to put my brush in here. I'm going to use my sponge. And I know you could totally do that because you could do whatever the hell you want with your products. But I feel like if you're going to do a, like a full on review of this product, use it with what it comes with type of deal. So there are a lot of reviews on it. I don't think I'm going to do one, but if you really want one, then uh, let me know in the comments. Maybe. I don't know. You tell me. You guys let me know. You tell me what to do with my life. Oh, and then this. This I'm really excited about. Where are my MacGyver tweezers? Okay. This is the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit. You guys know I'm not about that super uh, structured, sculpted face. I'm not about that life. But when I saw this at the drugstore, the blush in here is speaking my name. And this is actually in the shade medium to deep. But you know what, Maybelline? Don't tell me how to live my life. I want to use the medium to deep, even though I probably should have gotten the fair to light. But the blush in here, uh, you know what? It has like NARS orgasm written all over it. It's that beautiful, shimmery, pinky peach with gold shimmer blush. I hope it is. I hope it is. I hope it is. Let's see. Ugh. That's it. That's it. I think this is going to be like a NARS orgasm dupe. Oh, I could spot this color a mile away. It's that peachy pink with gold shimmer. Oh, that's delicious. Yes, I say delicious about makeup. I need to stop and break out of that habit. The only thing about this one, which is the medium to deep, is the highlight shade is probably way too dark for me. But I'm a rebel, you know? Like, I just, that's just... I don't let people, I don't tell, I don't let people tell me what to do. And if I'm going to use this gold highlight, then I, I, I'm going to use it. Okay, enough. That's right there in the middle. Ooh, that, look at that. It's like dewy almost. That's beautiful. And then this really dark contour shade right here. I don't know though. I could probably still use this just with a really light hand. The powder's really, um, the powders are really buttery. That right there see it's not that dark see maybelline don't tell me what to do with my life how many are, you, are new to my channel and you're like what is wrong with this girl's humor like is she for real no you guys i'm never for real i'm just kidding <laughs> then i got oh i already have a review on this one i got the revlon ultra hd matte lip color moving on <laughs> then i got I could have just gotten one, okay? Let me be honest. I could have just gotten one, but then the sisters would be alone, and they need each other's company. So I got the new CoverGirl palettes in the Nudes, Roses, and Goldens. These are called the True Naked palettes. I don't know why I got the roses, because you guys know how I feel about the Naked 3 palette, but I felt like, okay, Danny, if you're going to do an honest review on these, you should probably get all three so that you can make recommendations or suggestions to all complected pandas. Or maybe one palette sucks and one of them's really good and then you could say like, this one sucks, don't get that one, but get this one. You know what I mean? So I, w I want to do a review on these palettes. Like I, I'm, I'm, de I'm doing a dedicated review just on these three palettes. So I thought, hey, why not have all three? This one is the roses one. And if you guys see the shimmer in a couple of these eyeshadows, it's almost hard to say no. Oh my God, is that for real? I'm so glad I got this one. I am so glad I got this one. You gotta follow, you know what? You gotta follow your makeup hunch. So just raw first impression, I think these are gonna be really messy because they're so soft. But those eyeshadows that are worth the mess? Oh, I don't know. Maybe? Oh my lord, CoverGirl. Usually your powder products aren't that good, but this one reminds me of the, I don't even have any more room. I'm like making a mess over here. This one reminds me of the Naked 2. This one. Oh yeah, this definitely reminds me. I wonder if that's what they're I wonder if that's what they're doing, like a play on the naked palettes. Oh, this one's awful. Look at that. The one on my pinky. 
It's like crusty looking almost. If you could use these wet, I'm gonna have to look into that. If you could use them wet, this is amazing. I put some more all over the, I, I put some everywhere all over my hand, look at that. So that was the Goldens. That one reminds me of the Naked 2. And then the Nudes reminds me of the original Naked. I know I'm just gonna love everything in here. I kind of want to like put some on right now because I'm not even wearing eyeshadow and I'm doing like diffuse swatches on purpose so like to kind of give it that um blended effect because I mean if I do just one swipe I mean it's, it's good but it's not going to give you realistic results as to when you're blending it on your eye because what if it just fluffs all away and then you're like wait that's not what the swatch looked like so you want to keep that in mind then I got some Wet n Wild products. So I got the Wet n Wild blushes at Target. These are Target exclusives. But then I got these at um, CVS. I got the Mega Glow Illuminating Palette and the Contouring Palette. I wish these weren't so big. This is one of the reasons why I got rid of... Um, what's the name? In the Cabana? Cabana Boy? You know which one I'm talking about? This giant disc of like highlighter. That's one of the reasons why I got rid of it because it's way too big. But because um, Wet n Wild is on their new formula kick, any powder product that they have, they redid the formula. All of their powder products. So you know I was about to want to try that. This is the contouring palette in Dulce de Leche. This is the lighter shade of the two. The one after this, there's only two colors. The one after this has a banana powder. And banana powder on me makes me look jaundice. Like it looks yellow on my skin. So I just could not do that. So this is the Dulce de Leche. And I hear that the powders in here are, yeah they are. Wow. What are they putting in their in their formula their new formula it's like you know what it feels like it feels almost like rice flour this would be a beautiful palette for my skin tone check that out oh man I'm excited to try that I'm definitely gonna you know what I should do I should do one of those videos where I just like put all this stuff on my face um, then I had to get the unicorn palette, you guys. This is called Catwalk Pink, and there are four different shades of highlight in here, which you could probably really get in there because most of my highlight brushes are little tapered, smaller tapered brushes. Um, so here's a good example. I haven't tried this brush before. This is a Morphe 509. So, I mean, you could really get in there to each color without disturbing it, or you could just mix them together so let's see oh hey oh hey oh you guys did you guys hear that i got so excited i whispered i was like oh you guys mm. glittery and then two are like satin but they're like colorful like there's actual color to them I don't know how I feel should I just mix them let me see maybe if I just go through and I mix them Ooh, my palette hates me for doing that look at that <laughs> oh no where am I gonna put this okay I'll put it right here okay <clears throat> that's a little better maybe I am getting sick that's what it looks like all mixed together. So, I don't, I look at, what am I doing? I'm just making a mess. Um, I don't know. I have high expectations for highlighters. I mean, when you have as many highlighters as I do, like this whole section right there, when you have that many highlighters, you need it to, to be life-changing at this point. And this one is just, I think as eyeshadows, as like pops of color on the lid or inner corner highlights, they'd be beautiful. But as a face highlight, I don't think it's going to work out for me. And then the last three things that I got were these new limited edition color icon lip glosses. I'm such a, such a fool when I hear limited edition. I swear, like, I'll put my panties on eBay to be able to get something that's like limited edition. Like, ridiculous to that point. But um, they were wet and wild and they're lip glosses. And I thought they were really beautiful, like, popsicle shades. So hey, I mean, spring and summer are around the corner. Have you noticed? Like everyone's such a hurry of like 
for seasons to change. So spring is around the corner. I thought maybe might be something cool to try. Truth be told, the reason I jumped on this or the reason that it even caught my eye was this green one. I was like, a green lip gloss? Yes, ma'am. Obviously, it's not going to look green like this, but I was really, really eager to swatch it. And I'm not one of those people that opens stuff in the store. I hate that. If you ever see someone do that, you need to call them out. I say something. I'm like, that's not a tester. And then they look at me like they want to kill me. And I'm like, okay, please don't follow me to my car. <laughs> But I do tell people, I'm like, that's not a tester. It doesn't smell like anything. And the green one doesn't really show up like anything. That's right there. You see the, the shimmer or the sheen? That's the green one. Now let's try this pink one. This is, I don't know. I should have probably read the sticker before I peeled it off. This is the pink one. That's pretty. It's so, you know what it reminds me of? Like those little roller, um, roller glosses like when we were little these are not very good you guys there I mean it's it's just like a it's just a gloss let's see this one maybe this one will change my mind this one's better at this point with the way our makeup collections are did you see how I threw that in there our uh, you need to change my life if you're gonna be a lip gloss so those are the glosses right there this is the orange one the green one and then the pink one right there I think the only one that I liked was this peach colored one and it has glitter like glitter so that is it for this drugstore haul I really hope that you guys enjoyed it um honestly first impressions I'm not excited about this these I don't want to say were a fail but they're just they're nothing special. I should have known too because you could tell just by looking at stuff in the package, but they're so pretty. They look like glow sticks. I was like, yes. So no, so far those two are like, Meh. um, these three I'm excited about because upon first swatch, they're kind of deceiving. You're like, well, it's kind of looking kind of powdery and white, but it kind of shows up on the skin. So I definitely have to apply these to my face and give you guys a review on that. This one looks so promising. I'm definitely going to do a review on the CoverGirl, um, what are they called? On the CoverGirl True Naked palettes, all three, because I'm super excited to try them. Really excited. Um, the blush in here, you need it, you guys. And if there's anything else that I mentioned that you guys want to hear my thoughts on, maybe I'll do like a drugstore recap, a drugstore haul recap, or I could do a video where I use all these products on my face and tell you what I think. But overall, I'm really excited about this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this drugstore haul. Let me know what some drugstore favorites you guys have been loving lately because I'm always looking to adopt new family members into the Coffee Break with Danny makeup family like I need any more makeup. All the details of this video will be listed in the description box below, like always. And if you found this video useful, entertaining, or something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.